The next match is the, the return of the dynamite dude for the lightweight division, and he's going to be going against our the unfortunately the NWF heavyweight champion in this mismatch. But this, look at this, he got a lightweight against a heavyweight. I wouldn't be surprised if the belt goes to him. Shark Crusher. I just got to say something about this last, last match. These guys would have lost if the time limit would have been longer. I don't care what they think. They're a bunch of losers. Okay, Nash, I agree. I, I really agree, but I can't be biased in the ring. Okay, down to Repos Roberts again for the commentary. Hello, we're back again. Uh, about the match to get underway. Is wrong. Both opponents, this is quite a mismatch between the NWF champion and the lightweight division. All you know, you know that the lightweight division is much quicker. And the ref finally gets into the ring after being hammered on by Peterson outside the ring. And chopped to the chest by the dynamite dude. He's whipped into the ropes, snaps back, and the forearm to the gut. A head cracker by the NWF champion, Ace. And a submission hold. As you know, that really pulls the muscle of the chest and the neck. And your opponent is defenseless. Break, break it, break it! And the ref breaks it. Suspenders have come off. Dynamite dude gets back up. He looks all right. And Ace lunges forward. The dynamite dude. The ref assisting in his suspenders taking off. Dynamite dude getting a little hyper. Whips Ace into the ropes. Comes back. And a close line to the face. Knocks Ace flying to the mat. Chop to the head. The ace is in a serious predicament here. He's whipped back into the turnbuckle. Two elbows to the back. Another elbow. And one, another elbow. Dynamite dude just might win this. Lock and dynamite dude breaks out of it. Chopped as a gut, but ace. A head cracker between the knees. That hurts. Gets him into the same submission hold, stretching the neck muscles. His foot's on the rope, and the ref breaks it up. Ace breaks cleanly. Comes right back at the dynamite dude. Whips him into the ropes. Falls down. He is dazed. A knee to the back. And my dude don't know where he is. Flipped into the ropes. Comes back. The forearm to the head. Now he's in the sleeper. Submit. Still trying to put out the dynamite dude. He has a lot of spunk in him. Remember the old cliche. It's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight in the dog. This dynamite dude has a lot of spunk. He's rammed into the floor. The ace is kind of out cold. The figure four leg lock by the dynamite dude and ace is on the ropes, breaks up cleanly. One minute left in the match. I repeat, one minute left. You can beat him, Ace. One minute left. You can do it, Ace. Ace, you can do it. 
do it. <laughs> An NWF champion. Oh, time has run out. We have another jaw. Between Ace and the Dynamite Dude. It was a draw. Okay. They're working over Killer Campa. Peterson's coming into the ring. Peterson's madder than a bull right now. He is mad, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, Merciless Mike in the ring with Peterson. He's pulling his arms. He kicks him. Oh, this match is already out of hand. Oh. Ring the bell here. There we go. Okay. Okay. And I gotta say a little bit more. And if you wanna ask me any more questions, it's fine, but comment about Luxury Lane. He is the best there ever was and ever Joining me at ringside is Derek Madman Mash. Comments from Derek Madman Mash as Merciless is giving Ace an airplane spin. Yeah, you sure. Look at this scissors hold. Boy, Crusher Cross, and he just got this match in his hand. No qualification, I'll take a nap. <laughs> Mike is kind of tangled up there. Oh, what a kick! Oh, what a kick! Luxury lane, karate kicked. 